Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing great and that you're all safe. My name is Marian Jane, but you can call me Teacher Yan for short. And I will be your science teacher. So for today, we're gonna talk about science. So for your reference, you can have your science book and open it to pages two to seven. So let's get back. What is all about science? Science is the study of all things around us. Let's read it one more time. Science is the study of things around us. So we study the things around us using a step-by-step -step process. And this process is called the scientific process. Now, this scientific process is grouped into three types. What are these three types? First, we have the scientific method. The second one is the science process skills. And the third one is the scientific mind. But today, we're just gonna talk about the scientific method. Okay, so for this video, we're just going to talk about the scientific method. Okay? But before that, let's have some vocabulary. So the first word is scientist. Scientist. Okay? So these are um, examples of pictures of scientists. So these scientists are very curious about the world. They are or they want to invent many things just like uh, the light bulb just like the telephone and uh, many more. Okay, so do you want to be a scientist? Great! Now, the second word is hypothesis. The hypothesis. Okay, so hypothesis is an educated guess. So these are the answers we make based from the information that we currently know, okay? And the third one is conclusion. Conclusion, okay? Conclusion is the end of the process. It's the end of the process, okay? So now, do you have or have you had any questions about the world just like uh, flying an airplane? Or how do airplanes fly? Or how do plants grow? Well, there is a way to find the answers to these questions. And this way is also used by scientists, okay? Now, this method is called the scientific method. Now, what is all about this one? It is a way to learn science using a step-by-step -step action. One more time, scientific method is a way to learn science using a step-by-step -step action. Now, we have five simple steps in this method. First, we have ask a question. Second, make a hypothesis. The third one is gather information. The fourth one is study the information and the fifth one the final one is draw a conclusion okay so we are going to talk about these five simple steps one by one first we have ask a question okay so we have to formulate our questions based from our five senses so what are our five senses first we have sense of hearing. The second one is sense of touch. The third one is sense of sight. The fourth one is sense of smell. And the last one is our sense of taste. Okay? So now, after asking a question, we have to make a hypothesis. Okay? We have to make hypothesis. So, now we have to formulate our um, answer based from the information that we know. Okay, after making hypothesis, we have to gather information. So in this step, we are going to explore more. We are going to make um, experiment. We have to conduct 
an experiment and observe okay so after uh, conducting an experiment we have to gather the information okay we have to um, like record our data or explain the things that we have gathered okay and finally draw a conclusion okay so in this step we are going to match our hypothesis and the conclusion if they uh, really uh, match okay we have to check we have to check our uh, hypothesis and conclusion if they are match so for example let's make use of this example so here uh, Kang and friends want to know the best type of soil to, to, to grow Chinese kale okay so together they have uh, made use of the scientific method as shown in the picture okay so the first step that they did was they asked a question okay they asked a question so what was the question that they asked what type of soil can grow chinese kale best so that was the question next the second step that they made was they made a hypothesis okay so they think that um, chinese kale grows better in loam than clay and sandy soil so that was what they thought on the first one okay and the third one the third thing that they did was uh, they gathered information so in this step um, they they conducted an experiment so they planted three chinese kale into three different pots okay so the first pot contained the the clay soil the second pot contained the loam soil and the third pot contains the sandy soil okay and then after 25 days they have um, observed that the Chinese scale in pot 2 is taller than the ones in pot 1 and pot 3 so that was their observation after making an experiment and then after that after doing the experiment they have studied the information so they they jot the notes they record their data they surf the internet and they found out that chinese kale is a vegetables or a vegetable that grows well in loam soil and then based from their experiment chinese kale is best grow in loam soil so that was the result of the experiment and then finally the fifth step that they did was they made a conclusion so their conclusion was loam soil is the best soil for growing chinese kale so that was the result so going back to their hypothesis they said a while back that um, loam soil is the best soil now from their conclusion they also said that the best soil is loam soil so their hypothesis and conclusion match together so that's it but there is also a possibility that uh, your hypothesis or your result will not match okay so that's it for your activity you can open your book to page four okay and then answer the activity based from what you learn from this video okay so that's it for this uh, video thank you and have a good day bye